Shalom, Shalom, Yisraya, Yisraya El. It is here uh, June the 21st, the evening, the eve of the opening of Sukkot for us. We have just heard Zakeni Ramia preach a wonderful, inspiring message, the writer's ink horn. And we just came out of the tabernacle to view, to see if we could view the uh, strawberry moon, which is the, uh, I don't know, happens every once, every 19 to 20 years when the uh, moon is uh, completely lined up with the, in the solstice and the sun. I like these purple martins. These birds that are flying here, they are called purple martins. And they are uh, migratory birds. So they come through here for the summer. And then they leave towards fall and migrate further south. But they're beautiful birds. And they help with the uh, controlling of insects, flying insects and things of that nature. But we have gourds for them. And they come every year. And it's just beautiful to me how they fly and navigate and soar through the air. It's very beautiful, very calming. I love watching them. They'll roost there on the lines and then fly into the uh, gourds that we have here. We prepare for them. They come every year. Been doing that for years since we've been here on Teshua. So we all are gathered out outside to view, to see if we can view this, what they call the strawberry moon. How I feel with our cattle out here, sheep. This is how we live here, nation, Yisrael Yael. We all work together, live together, and enjoy life. We enjoy everything together. We suffer together. We have joys and sorrows all together, nation, as Yah has intended us. So it's a beautiful place we have here. place of shalom, of beauty, we can raise our children in safety without concern of gunshots or being whisked away, kidnapped, without all the pressures and the evil of this world pressing down upon them. Look at these birds, they're so beautiful. The beauty of the sky. It's a beautiful place here at Teshua that we have. That we have gained through years of labor, hard work, and togetherness. Everyone chipping in and giving not some, but giving all. All their lives, all their labor, all their heart for the welfare of all. And that's something that is lost in this world. We have lost it as a nation of Israelites. We have lost that. The willingness to submit unto, first of all, the Torah, and then to one another. To lay down our wants and the selfishness, our desires, so that we can obtain the kingdom, the kingdom of Yah. It's beautiful, beautiful out here. We have structure, we have labored hard. Over these 28 years, I believe, that we have been here. Many have come, many have gone, but yet we still stay the course. We continue on in the Imuna, going from Imuna to Imuna, faith to faith. Have a beautiful herd of cows here. Black Angus is what we have. We really have too many for the amount of land that we have, so we're preparing to actually sell some of them at market to take away some of the stress on the land. We have really too many cattle for the amount of grazing that we have. So our Akiwasadok is preparing to uh, take some of these to market. We get a tough price for them and cut down on the herd somewhere.
I want the big bowl. All right, then, Mama. Hey there. All right, Mama. They're gonna lick me. I know. They always do. Oh, his ears are so hard. So hard. Okay. Yes, I need another apple, please. Ew! Why do they have? Oh, not no! Why are you feeding? No, he's the one who had the most flies. Yes, no, it's okay. Come on, I. They're next. Apples. He's almost caught ya. But he's the softest. Oh, no, no, how is that? Why are you touching? Got it. Not Daddy, he's the most softest one. Oh, well, well. Yes, Dad. Put it, get ready. Another apple. He's the most soft. Oh, my God. Yes, Dad. He's so soft. Yes, he might be big and have a lot of fun, but he's the softest. Cassie, do you have to have cow hands? I bet I can make a little bit of 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 a little Hey, girly, what? Yes, baby. Uh, you feeding the cows apples? Yeah, they like they like those apples as well. This one here? Sir. Is this the one we bought from a man? No, sir. The one we bought from a man. That's the one that got over up. Okay. So these are his sisters. No. He's, he's the fool from the last uh, uh, Angus we just had. Yeah. Oh, he's going to leave. He's still on the house. Yes, sir. That's what I was right here alone to him. You ready, Hootie? Why you ready enough to feed a you bit, Miss Kelly? You're first to call you. Yeah, no, you're first. Yeah, Hootie, you're first. No, no, no. Yes, you're I'm first. Sure. <laughs> See, they always want to lick your hand. Yeah. I hate that. Y'all be careful now. He got horns. I'm not feeding him because he yeah, bucked me. Put, put, put him in on, put a stick on them. All right, get you a stick. Yes, sir. Feed him with a stick. And then, because he can look crazy. Okay, yeah, I'm going to give you a Huh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say this one. I bet you want to have to kill Look at his hook. That's the thing I know. Go ask him. Okay, I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Why are you not eating? Big man. Yeah, he, he, hey, big boy. He's all, he's showing up. Right? That's got a little something in here. Oh, yes, sir. This is all Angus here. Yes, sir. Yeah, he, he's yeah, nice, I like man. I like his temperament. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. He, 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 he's, he's all Angus, though. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, he got his, he got his food, not to know. 
Yeah. Hey, mommy. Yeah. I don't have no apples for you, man. Here, let me see if I can get an apple. Here. There. 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 There we go. That's what you want? Yeah. Find another one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Look, I'm about to feed the bull. Look, give it to him. How about you name me Mr. Bull? Mr. Bull. Uh huh. Here, I'm gonna give him another. One. Here, you're getting close now. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, you're getting greedy now, man. You're getting greedy, huh? You know, <laughs> why, you run, why are you running, Raya? <laughs> all right, no, hey, don't start all that screaming. Hey, what, you want me to get that to him? Okay, here. I'll give it to him right here. Here. Give it to him. Oh, your tongue is rough. Here. <coughs> here. There we go. There we go. All right. <coughs> here, Mama. There you go. All right. Can you have this one? No, no. Okay. Oh, brown, man. Oh, they don't want these white. Oh, no, 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 Yes, sir. Right. Right. All right, yes, sir. Too old to be setting up like this. Man. Yes, sir. All right, yo. Come on, bro.
All right, we're still waiting for this uh, moon. See if we can see it. They say would it be a, it would be around 9:08 p.m. when it would start, you know, being visible Eastern Standard Time. So we're still. Let's see what time it is. Time we got. Uh, it's 11 after 9 now, so maybe here in a minute we'll see. We have, do have some cloud cover as well, so. You know, nation, you know, Yah has intended for his people to have places of shalom. That we may be able to escape the tur turmoil of this world, the perversion, the evil. And we may have places of shalom to dwell. Where we can be, learn how to ahava, to love the nation of Yisrael, Yah, and to obey Torah. To raise our children. He intends for all of his people to have places such as this of Shalom. But it's because of our own iniquities that, you know, the whole nation cannot be able to enjoy these kinds of lifestyles. This is a beautiful place, a beautiful home that we have here. And it's built 
number one on the foundation of Torah, Torah truth. Where have you seen another place where you can enjoy the eve, the oncome of the Shabbat as this, such as this? You don't see places like this. We're not a people that are secluded or estranged from Yisrael. We welcome Yisrael, but we welcome you through the guidance and through the discipline of Torah. There's only one way, one Torah, one walk of life. And you must obey that. You must have the disciplines of Yah, as Azakim Ramya taught us this evening. It cannot be every man believing in his own way or what he believes. But you must have the agreement of Torah. Torah supersedes all emotions, all feelings, all of your own beliefs. And we must come together under that umbrella. That's the only way that a place like this works. Yes, my friend. Sir? Are we about to come? Yeah, we're about to go in a minute, son. I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to see this, uh, this moon. Yeah, I really wanted to see it. Hmm. I really, I really wanted to see this strawberry moon. I think I've already seen it before. I don't know. You haven't seen it before, son. I think was it? Is no. it like pink? You haven't seen it before, son. It only comes once every nineteen to twenty years. So you haven't, uh, yeah. you you haven't seen that yet, my friend. <clears throat> One of these cows are really friendly. You can touch them in the mouth. All of them are really friendly, son, as long as you're feeding them something. We try to feed the baby. Mm-hmm. And it didn't work. Yeah, that's the, the light spot from it right there. Mm -hmm. It's just behind the cloud. So you can somewhat see, I don't know if you can see as I'm zooming in, it's getting dark now so the camera focus is starting to lose focus. But you can kind of see the lightning of that patch of clouds right there, the moon is back behind that. So if that cloud cover somewhat moves or as it rises a little more, then we should be able to, uh, to view it. What you calling? What you call her? What's her name? Cassie Cass. Cassie Cass? Cassie Cass. Cassie Cass? Okay. Uh -huh. Cassie Cass. Daddy, it's out. Daddy. Sir? It's out. Huh? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right here, look between the trees. You gotta go, you'll see a dark orange. All right, they said they see. Oh, yeah, you gotta see it. 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 Hmm. Oh yeah, it's got it still got a ways to rise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you see me, okay. Yeah, see. Okay. If you look in the you know, we have the street light, but if you look to the right of the street light into the in the tree, you can kind of see the uh, glowing orb in the tree. Okay, it's went away now. 
So it's rising. It's rising. So it's coming. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I can watch it up so he sees it a little better over here. Let's see. You can see the line of it. It's coming up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right above that uh, street light. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, so we'll be able to see in a few minutes. Okay, yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming up through the trees. It's right, it's like where that street light is. It's like right by that street light behind the trees. It's, com it's coming up. Yeah, it, it'll, it might still take a few minutes. But it, it's coming up. I actually was the first one to see you and then you Oh, I Because if I say a hook, she can she going to be like, what did you just say? What did who say? Um, if I say, if I call grandma a hook, she can she's going to be like, what did you just say? Oh, okay. She just wants you to call her grandma. Yeah. Uh. Take a, a picture of me. Hmm? Did you just take a picture of me? No, I'm recording you. So now everybody's going to hear you ask that. I saw it, Daddy. Hmm? Let me see it. I seen it a little bit through the trees. It's still, it's still rising. <clears throat> it's going to take a little minute for it to rise above the trees. It's coming up. I'm gonna stop, just stop the video right here for a minute and then come back when we uh, actually see, actually see the viewing, see it rise up above the tree line. <laughs> All right, so we're back. This is the uh, probably the best view that we're gonna get of this strawberry moon. We had a lot of cloud cover um, as it was a little lower. It was probably a little more reddish tint to it, but nevertheless, it's still beautiful. So this is the uh, strawberry moon, which is the first uh, full moon in June that coincides with the uh, summer solstice and like I said it only happens every, once every 19 to 20 years always on June either the 19th 20th or 21st the first full month of June that coincides full moon of June that coincides with the summer solstice 
So everyone is going in for the evening to go into the sukkahs. So this is uh, this is what we have here. Oh, you want to like move it up and down, left and right? Look, look. Put your hands here and there, and just move this and just tweak them. Then you just turn, look in there and start turning one and turn the other. You can adjust it where you want. It. 